I'm Keith Jack and I am playing the part of Alistair aka Mouse in the new production of Sincerely Mr Toad. You could be more than this, I know it, I want you to have the life I always wanted. Don't lose belief, hold your dreams forever, I'll make sure you have the life I always wanted. In a nutshell, Sincerely Mr Toad, in my opinion, is the story of, of one man who effectively wrote his son away. Um, we're all very familiar with the story of Rin the Willows, and so it's very much about how, what circumstances um, created that story, influenced and, and allowed that story to develop. It's a great company to be a part of. We've got a great cast here and it's a lot of fun. It's kind of worked really swimmingly. Everyone's enjoying the festival and everyone's looking forward to taking it back to Greenwich and stuff. It's uh, really good. It's a really good show. There was a boy 100 years ago had a secret no one else could know A friend so true one would admire Did you mention he breathes fire? Boy and the dragon would explore the land. They had adventures that were oh so grand. Flying higher than the trees, they looked down on the seven seas. Then suddenly the people of the town began to scream. <laughs> I think a lot of people don't know the circumstances behind Wind the Willows or, the, or what influenced the writing and I think people find it really, really interesting to have that story told supported by the wonderful piece of literature that is Karen Brown's masterpiece, The Wind the Willows. I think that people should come and see Sincerely Mr. Toad because it's a story that's not been told yet. We all know the Wind in the Willows, we know Toad and Badger and Mole and their adventures in the wild, wild wood, but no one knows the story behind it and the inspiration that Kenneth found in the world around him and in his own son Alistair. It's a sad story but I think it I think what David Hutchinson and David Andrew Wilson and Katie McIver have tried to do is inject it with hope and inject it with kind of learning from your mistakes and, and moving on with things and it's an important story. It's a lovely story. It's sad and lovely and it's just not been told. I'm not a doctor. I can't heal you. You can do so much more than a doctor, Kenneth. Please, just, just hold me. I think you should sit down. Hold me now, please. Stop it, Elspeth. You're being unreasonable. To ask my husband to hold me. I would suggest it's good show to come to if you're a family, a parent, um, and want to see a very interesting piece of theatre, uh, which is well written and a good observation on humanity and relationships, specifically between parent and child.